I love his voice. Taking other people into her own problems just so she can save her little sorry self. You think I haven't seen that before? Getting tired it's of your double standards, Mint. Of your double standards? This curse is an entirely different issue, Whiskey. But knowing you and the kind of person you are, I don't doubt that even without that letter, you would have. Oh! Please stop! It was gonna. She was gonna kind of slap him again. All of you, stop this! To hear Lily speak out loud, I can't say I'm not surprised. She has always given me the impression of someone so meek from the moment I've met her, either from it or in experience or a station in life. She has never struck me as someone fitting to be a real estate agent. If anything, that meltdown she had during the open house had only proven my assumptions until now. Why at least she puts herself between me and Mint, cutting whatever scathing, scathing words we've yet to hurl at the other. The way she glares at me, it reminds me a little of the way my own would look at me, particularly when I've done something wrong. And it's not a stare she's unused to showing. She has done this before, probably to a younger sibling. We'll be back later, Kanabasi, no problem. If you want to know when I'm live as Zardarian, give a little follow. I try to stream every day. Thank you for passing by. Huh? If she only sees us now as a pair of squabbling kids and not to make her a mature adults, well, that's only to be expected. No doubt, that's how she sees us. For a long moment, there's only silence in the room. Feathers, for all his guts, doesn't even dare break it, merely watching us. Where did all of his bravado go now? Not that it matters when Lily starts speaking again. After some of the anger and tensions has lifted from the room. Stop this, please! With or without that damn piece of paper, we... A deep breath. And exhale. A new follower. A new follower. Thank you, Zin Zardarian. And you will have to tell me how to pronounce your name properly because it's uh, kind of hard for me to... Uh, since I'm French, you know, it's kind of hard for me to pronounce English, so don't hesitate. You're wrong, Mr. Friendlish, that's not how you pronounce my name. I will not uh, take any offense to it. And thank you again. And then she closes her eyes, the crease forming between her eyebrows while she grips her and tightly in front of her. We still would have ended up in this mess. The atmosphere that descends into the room after that admission is anything but pleasant. Can I call it that an admission? It seems like it from the way her eyes nervously flick between her and I, her friend and I. She appears to know more than she lets on and how she makes herself appear smarter after dropping that bomb on us doesn't sit quite well with me. Impatience is something I don't have the luxury of having right now and bestowing upon other people. What else does this girl know? What else is she not telling us? Because from the looks of it, even her friends has no idea what she's talking about. Unwilling to wait, wait, I grab her arm before she retreats, without explanation, waving the letter still in my hand in front of her. Ow, sir, you're hurting me! Hey, hands off her, right? Fuck off, fellas. <laughs> I have questions for your friend, and she better have the answers. Then stop taking it out on every single person. What is he talking about? Your friend is hiding something! She struggles for a moment, but my all eventually forces her to look up at me. Fear and uncertainty spreads across her features, especially when her eyes land on the pa damn paper. As much as I want to be considerate right now, I want answers. What do you mean, Lily? I... I'm not sure about it. Don't give me that, you know something! Ow! Please, sir! I... I know the paper is useless, okay? At the mention of the letter, without warning, Min snatches the paper out of my hand. It's a miracle it did not rip it... rip right there and there, but the way she glares at it, I think she may want to do exactly that. We should have gotten rid of this thing! We should have burned it at the first opportunity we got! Will it have helped? 
I think it would have been only worse if they actually ripped the paper, though. No, even if we rip it to shreds, it won't do anything. Yep, that's what I, what I was thinking right now. I... I think... You don't know what I've seen, Santos. There were children! Victims! All because they had no idea what this thing will do to them! Oh god, those poor souls! They were screaming and begging before she... Then, what about those people they mentioned in the news lately? All those who died? My co-workers? The open house clients? None of them had seen it! Even Rose! And yet they're all dead! I knew it! It's not the litter that uh, kills people. It's the fact that they entered the house. I should know. That letter has been with me since I picked it up. And and I swear I didn't make copies of this thing. I knew it from the very beginning. It's not the letter, it's the mansion. Even if I wanted to save myself, I wouldn't do that to my friends. Or anyone. Is that what the trip to BRC was for? Yes, I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you guys until I was certain. None of you believed me the first time. I had to find proof. And yet we're all here! Are you taking me for a fool, Lily? Or am I wrong? I have to go with Whiskey on this. Who knows how many has already seen this before you found it? This cursed thing has to go! We would have ended up here either way. M maybe? I, I really don't know. Sir, please. All I know is that paper isn't the reason why all of this is happening. Owen, Isabella did say when we found um, Rebecca's dead body that there was still a way to save her. I'm not sure, but I think I'm starting to understand a bit. There's something else. Maybe... Maybe it's this place that's the problem. Maybe it's this we should be getting rid of. What? You mean we burn this place down? I still think we should get rid of this letter before we start thinking of destroying a place with some historical value! A save just in case. What? And no? No? We are not burning a multi-million pound mansion, you peasants! I just spent a fortune on this! Bloody fucking hell, not only do I have trespassers on my property, but they're also arsonists! How <laughs> <laughs> dare this suggest something like that! Bloody peasants! My head's already aching just listening to them to think this is all the solution they can come up with. I should have stabbed all of them and made a run for it. It doesn't help that with each second we spend talking here, the crazier this whole place gets. The voices have become louder and somehow sounding more vicious. If the things in this room starts floating, mark my words, I will fucking flip out. And they may not be thinking of it right now, but eventually, eventually, They'll turn on me, such is the nature of humans. I better find a way out of this place as soon as possible, if I want to stay alive. Fuck, I still have to so much to do. None of our choices seem sound, but who knows, we don't understand the shine about this place. Might as well try it. everything, yeah? Whatever works. If I also have to be the one that makes that bloody decision, so be it. Less rooms for errors with the only sane one doing the thinking. On the off chance I'm wrong, well, they suggested it. Ah, shit, let's say. I decide to... Burn the mansion. Oh, wait. I'm trying to remember uh, Kylie's song when she was singing because the end of the song was saying something like up in flames, up in flames, up in flames 
my fair lady. What was it again? Like, I remember the, the ending of the last sentence, but not the beginning, and I think that's the most important part. Eh, anyway, let's go burn the mansion. I'm going to regret this. I will. But with these cries growing louder, this has become the easiest decision I have ever made. I'm getting tired of hearing her sobbing, really. It's just irritating. Isn't she getting tired of it? Besides, someone has to act fast. Think fast. And what else is the root cause of her problems but this place where the letters was found? No need to make things more complicated. It started here. Why won't it end here? If what Lily has, if what Lily has said is true, then there's all the more reason to destroy it. Put an end to this madness before someone thinks of putting this blasted place up in the market. But I mean, if you burn the house, why would you? Wouldn't you burn the letter at the same time? Just burn both, right? It makes no sense. When I get out of this place, I swear I'm suing a bunch of people. Run that estate company to the ground if need be. We spent millions, damn it. Millions! With a sigh and perhaps a heavy heart, I opened one of the drawers and my study table. Taking a bottle of liquor out of myself, for myself, then passing it on to every occupant in the room. I accept it, but not without a look of protest or a confused glance my way. It does shut them all up, so maybe I've done something good. Even more, when I pop the cork off the bottle and pour its content on the, the floor. Well, what are you simpletons waiting for? We waste no time dousing the old room, the smell of alcohol filling the air. If I did not know any better, I'd say the more than eager to set this whole place on fire. They're more than eager. And the blaze catches easily in this room when I set it alight, using the blasted paper as kindly. Oh, so he is burning the, the letter. With the whole place drenched with wine and all manner of things alcoholic I've been hiding from Hannah, the small fire soon turns into an inferno. In a matter of seconds, we're out the door. It does not exactly lead where I'm hoping it will. Although ending up in the kitchen does give us a more reason to play like a bunch of pyromaniacs. Fishing the liquor stocks from the cupboards, we also do the same things we've done to the study. Door after door in every room we pass. Pouring bottle after bottle of expensive aged liquor, liquor and setting every, everything on fire, only leaving once the place has started in earnest. When we run out of liquor, we simply drop the bottle and take one of from many nooks I've stashed one. Burn the old place down, right? And there's no lack of it in here. The hard stuff, the shorts, the watered down kind. Gifts from a distant relative, friends, so called friends, you name it. I've made sure there's always one within reach. How reach. many of these things do you keep in this house? I always have a few bottles in the bedroom, you know, the parlor and the dining room. You have problems, man. <laughs> well, isn't this the time to discuss them? And I had called me out on this numerous times before telling me of the same thing. I've always told her she doesn't know the half of it before completely dismissing her concerns. Worry hard that woman. Turns out it would be useful now. Not to drown out my sorrows but for this, wonders of wonder, wonder of wonders. So I suppose I can now say it as that will save my life. But there's no reason, there's no time for some introspection now. Because with, with each room we pass and burn, the place also becomes easier to navigate. Oh, easier. As if it's slowly writing itself. Returning to what it's supposed to be. Soon we finally find ourselves standing before the main door. The strong odor of burning wood, cloth and varnishing alike wafts from under the doors of the room with, with freshly torched 
floating, slowly filling the hall with a thick black smoke. 